My target range is really close to the hut. My hut's right there. And uh, just come out here in the woods a little ways and uh, look up the hill. And this, I wish this was something else like a big hay bale or something because the fact of having this man-made crap out here in the woods kind of like just detracts from the whole getting back to the essence of nature and all that crap. But anyways, these work good to protect your arrows. This is my original target I had right here. And you can see I literally blew it to hell. Um, you can probably see some holes all the way through that, but it is just a wreck. I got to where I was shooting my arrows through it. I actually shot some of my flint arrows all the way through that and broke the tips when they cracked on rocks on the other side, like these guys here and all kind of other stuff. So obviously I had to upgrade that, you know, that little chunk of styrofoam. Hell, it's probably four and a half by three. Two and a half, easy, that piece. Or two and a half by four or five or something. But this piece, this piece right here is every bit as tall as I am, pretty much. It's probably five foot by three. And uh, I've decorated it pretty. <laughs> I put me some uh, spray paint on it. You gotta work quick when you're spray painting uh, styrofoam because it tends to just melt. So what I do is I come up here. I like to come all the way to the top of the hill. I'm steady walking up the hill right now. See, this is right in front of me. We're going up the, going up the hill. Um, this video is going to be retarded. See, I have all, all these videos, man, are good. Like back in the winter when I was stalking ducks and uh, doing cool stuff with traps and things like that. And, it was awesome, you know, but it's just terrible quality. Yeah. So now that I got a good camera, ease, happy birthday to her, I can get some better footage of this. I said this is my uh, quiver I made from band of material, cardboard box, and some pair of britches I have. Works out great. My Renfair bow. From the Ren Fair, I bought this at the Ren Fair. And uh, couldn't live without it. Made the string out of artificial sinew. Put leather uh, silencers on it. Which are these. Little compound bow back in the day had rubber tire silencers on it. This is more traditional. String up the old bow. <clears throat> See what we can do. I'll probably just shoot the uh, stone ones and then go get them so I don't tear into them with my steel ones and vice versa. You shoot the, get the steel ones in, then you shoot these, you hit the steel ones, and then you got a big mess up. So we'll do. The uh, ancient ones first, the bamboo. Oh, a little low with that one. A little low. First time I got to shoot the bamboo ones at this big target. I just brought this out here the other day. After I got tired of wasting my arrows as they were going straight through the other one. Man, those things get on down through there. I could probably trim the feathers a little bit more. They wouldn't make that whistling when they went. And that would be a good thing. That one I gotta do some work on. Ooh, almost split my other arrow. And my number one right here. Mm. See if we can zoom in on what happened there. I can just take the whole camera down there, probably be cooler. Let's see what happened. I'm sure we can zoom right on in with this bad boy.
Uh, 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 the feathers are blending right on in. Let's get. I'll leave it up here and go get them. These are fun to shoot though, knowing they're all from natural materials, stone heads, um, turkey feathers, lashed the old style way, heated and straightened the old style way, well kind of the old style way, I kind of cheated and did it over the stove, but these are just Hobby Lobby dowels, 3 8 dowel rods, I stained them gun stock, they're originally stained walnut or ebony I mean and uh, refletched with the turkey feathers they're pretty good the spines are all out of whack so these won't be consistent at all but they're fun to shoot I'm stacking all the arrows up right on top of each other. Yeah, they're all going right on top of each other over there. Hmm, that was close. All right, we gotta take the camera down there for this because this is crazy. I come within a microcosm. Oh wow, that was all in super zoom mode one. So, came within a little ways. Forgot about that. Never had to worry about that with my other camera. <laughs> well, no way I can get that close. Close to zoom. This is stupid, I should have turned it off. Just want to make sure you know that this is from that shot. We'll turn it off. Come down the little hill here. Even though I miss the middle every single time, all the arrows are stacked up like pretty close. And that's good. It's pretty consistent. For a bunch of unmatched, unspined dowel rods. So, this is fun. This is what I like doing out here. And it's a constant repeat of that. I'll just shoot this over and over again and have a good old time. Um, let's see. There we go. Oh, that's cool looking. But, uh, I'm going to sneak over there. I'm gonna get in my uh, gear and try to sneak over and see if we can't uh, sneak up on those deer that have been over there for the past couple days. I have a feeling they might be in there if they hadn't heard me talking from over here. So we'll do that next. All right, later.